Well, good morning. Welcome back to Not Your Stuff. We've been, uh, we're getting out here a little bit late this morning. The reason being is we uh, had a call last night and the guy had, he said, I've got some appliances in my neighborhood. He's a guy that contacts me. And so there was this refrigerator, there was a, a dryer, this tub, this TV. So I went out there and uh, picked that stuff up and then stopped by my washing machine guy, sold him the machine. So we're just uh, getting a late start at it. So hopefully we saw a garage man on the front end of these neighborhoods. So we've missed the front already. Hopefully we haven't missed it at all. We're gonna go check out that pile over there and see if we can find some more junks. Let's see how we do today, guys. Well, we haven't missed it all. We actually skipped that pile. We're gonna get that pile on the way out. I think there's some, ouch. I think there's like four chairs in that pile too. We wanted to come down to the end of the cul-de-sac and clean things out first. Now we gotta make room. We get the, I was trying to leave this tub laying down, but I need the space. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna stand her up. That's what I think we're gonna do. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it will when you see it. On, right like that the fridge will hold you oh maybe not and the fridge can hold you up Ooh, a bunch of dirt now or uh ash and dirt and such come on no don't be nasty <clears throat> so that's okay we'll take a whole bunch of mix today i guess Like such. Yeah. All right. Let's move. Yep, there are four chairs here. Some other tidbits. A little bit of metals. We're gonna fix our boards this weekend. There. Still got some gaps in here. Little stuff like this. <laughs> Want to go in? Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Do we got any TVs in here? Mattress? Anything? I swear this house had a birthday party not too long ago. I guess we're just getting the chairs. We'll take four chairs, though. Now, the question is, are these. They don't have them stacked, but they got these have to stack, right? Somehow. Come on. <laughs> uh, these are gonna take up so much room. Them. We'll make them a little better than they were. Gosh. And then we've got like a shelving system to put put other scraps. <laughs> Onward. I thought this was gonna be a chair. We're gonna bang at our five chairs right away. This is aluminum here though. This is not a chair. What is that? It looks like something you you drag and this tears up the grass maybe? I don't know. What is it? Anybody? What is that? I don't know. This is part of a porch. 
That's what this is. We'll put you in here. You can go in there. Look at this long guy. you inside why aren't you inside get out of the road gosh gosh all right going back inside onward <laughs> i didn't think it was gonna take long today these aren't chairs they're benches but they still count so five and six i don't think either of these are gonna be aluminum either this one is definitely steel. Uh oh. I'm gonna bungee that one up, I guess. I'm gonna have to bungee this one up. Oosh! There you go. Now you go, no place. I ain't going no place, bro. This stuff's super awkward, man. Let's see, where are we gonna do this? Let's put you like... Um, like this. <laughs> it's like a mosquito bike. This one is a possible, possible aluminum. Now that I've picked it up, it's definitely not aluminum. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like a mosquito? Still here. All right, you're gonna come over here too, bro. These are gonna be stackable benches. <clears throat> Man, we gotta start coming out here later. <laughs> We're fighting more on a late schedule than we are on an early schedule. This is a motorized pressure washer. This guy's legit. So where I picked up that pressure washer is where the kid lives that's driving that mosquito bike oh look at this brass lamp i'll bet you are brass too i see the garbage guys across the street i think i think that looks like a big white truck right anyways that uh that little mosquito motorcycle it goes like almost 30 miles per hour because i was behind him it goes somewhere between 25 and 30 30 miles per hour that's crazy that's a fast little bike for a little motor on there this is uh faux brass i think if i look at this this looked brassage but uh this does not that's peeling <laughs> let's see what we've got here though it might be aluminum it's no sticky sticky i don't think she's brass though all right here comes a mosquito bike here he comes it's radar gun him How y'all doing? Alright, what's going on with 
<laughs> I got out late today. I got out late. I went over and picked up the uh, scheduled pickup. So. I see. I see Phil. He out back. Yeah, that's what I figured. He working on his shopping list. Oh, there's a lot of people out here now. A lot of people. So, all right, y'all have a great day. All right, Bob, take it easy. Alrighty. I talked to Kev. He's been out and about. He's out there doing his shopping list. He said he's headed to the yard. He wants to get empty before um, they stop for lunch. I might have to check this one. This one, this one feels like a lighter. What do you guys think? <laughs> that means it's not gonna light up at all. Oh gosh! So I'm gonna keep running the the front part of this. I skipped a little bit of the front to get to the back to try to figure out where the garbage guys were at since I was a little bit late. Got it. I still got some running room left. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get to the yard for lunch, but we'll see what we can do. No, I think we have at least have an umbrella here. These little totes might have something. Who knows? Lights, 2012. I think they're Christmas lights, guys. That's gonna be a steel umbrella, just by the way. All right, lights it is. <sighs> it does not lights. These all feel empty. Ah, uh, they are. Dang, nab it. All right, umbrella it is. Let's go. I thought this was gonna be a once and gone. I saw a little table here, but there's all kind of stuff here. So I thought I'd bring you guys in. I thought I was gonna jump and go, but uh, a lady came out and she's like, hey, I uh, have an antique sewing machine if you'd like it. So I'm gonna come pick that up later because I don't want to get damaged. But she's got all kind of fun stuff in here. Yeah. And of course I bring you guys in and now we're on to the boring stuff. But one of the things that I wanted to bring you guys in for is we got this really cool Ninja Turtle. Like, maybe that'll keep my change. This is going to go in the back. This is going to go here. But I have a little tablecloth that's going to go through my thrift lady. This bag looks very intriguing. I might just hold it and look at it later. Graduate llama. Okay. Let's uh, put this in here. We'll look at this bag later. And we're gonna take this pair of Uggs. Great, uh, purple Uggs. You gotta sell for millions, right? We'll take a look at those later. Onward. Alrighty guys. We're at the yard waiting for them to open up from lunch. Um, as I was driving through the last neighborhood, I did have someone flag me down. And they gave us our third refrigerator of the day. I mean, I know you guys didn't see me pick up the one, but I thought we'd take this chance to uh, go see what's in this bag. Oh, that uh, that one pile that I almost skipped um, had this stuff in it. We got our purple Uggs, which are in pretty decent shape. We'll put up uh, a sold comp right here. <laughs> but we're gonna dig through, uh, we're gonna dig through. Oh, and he brought out a sewing machine that my thrift lady wants an old um uh, it's the it got the wood base and it's got the pedal that they do things with but we want to oh we already saw the stickers in the thing this was the one that really intrigued me is this bb8 i don't know if it's a model or i don't know it it, it said hey pay closer attention to me it looks like just a dirty bb8 though i don't think it does anything what are those? Are those patches? I think these are patches. This is, uh... Oh, no, they're probably gonna be... Oh, you know what they are? They're, uh, sleeves for cards. But they look like sleeves for, uh... What's it called? House of Cards? Not House of Cards, uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> House of Cards. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. 
This is like sewing stuff. I don't know, there's some cards in here. Oh, a little Bluetooth speaker. An apple. Oh, this is Clinique. No, it's not Clinique. It was a Clinique. Oh, look at that. That's an old lighter. Got a pin. We got a Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, this is like pins and such. Let's see what we got here. Oh, gosh. Come back here, Disney watch. Are these mints? <laughs> oh, they're not mints. Oh, they're not. They're pins. So this is going to be like costume, jewelry, slash. There's a John Deere pin. Convention Center member. Some brooches and such. This one's, oh my gosh, that's a, look like a little baby uh, class ring. For a very small finger. Look how small your finger's gotta be. <laughs> I know, I kid, I kid. Oh, that's from the 1990 Daytona. Probably worth millions. So we got all kind of fun stuff in here. All right, let's put you guys back in here. What else we got? Little tin, what you got in here? Gold! Maybe. There's a little guy in here. That could be gold. Probably not. What else we got in here? Ooh, what's in the silver bag? Silver! <gasps> mm, I'm gonna guess costume jewelry. Who knows though? An old point and shoot camera. A couple of these bracelets. I don't know, looks like fun stuff. Got some Hot Wheels. We have a Orlando Health mask. And that's it on that one. What else we got? We did Clinique. That looks like an old tea box. Ah, oh, with more like a uh, little face. Two little faces. Three little faces. Three, one little, two little, three little faces. Flip flop candle. Some more of these brooches and such. I don't know. These are probably going to be at least non ferrous if nothing else. Is that a copper ring? I think that is. It's a copper ring with uh, some kind of stone in it. Ooh, what kind of monies we got in here? Plastic monies. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're almost there. Wouldn't it be great if those were real diamonds? Yeah. Keep dreaming, Matt. Keep dreaming. What else we got? Oh, we got a baby doll. What do you got in here? Look at it. She's blinking at me. That eye's missing her lashes. What kind of doll we got here? Mm -hmm. They're normally on the neck. I don't know. I don't think she's anything special. Let me know if she's special, guys. Oh, look at these baby dolls. These are like cupies. Oh, McDonald's collectible dogs from 07. Oh, gosh. He's scary. <laughs> don't mess with me. <laughs> this almost trollish. Oh, this looks like a cupie doll. Man, these are dirty dolls. Dirty dolls is what they are. These can't be McDonald's, are they? No, I don't think they're McDonald's. These are definitely not McDonald's. They don't feel like McDonald's. Maybe these are McDonald's ones. That doesn't look very McDonald's-y either. I think that bag's lying to me. Put our scary cubie dolls back in there. You guys get back in the bag. Ooh. What we got in here? Shoink! Pins! I want a pair of iPod buds. 
probably fake ones. Those look kind of big. South of the border, man. This is from Beach Party of 89. Wow, Denny's. Budman Football, world's greatest mom. I love American Printer. Man, this is all kind of, look at. Babies don't thrive on smoke-filled wombs. 1987 Disney, very Merry Christmas. I'll bet you that's worth money. Old Coke. Class Act of 88. That's got uh, Publix and Coke on the Disney button. Wow. That's old school. Drink responsibly from Anheuser-Busch. Look at all these fun buttons. I'll bet you some of these are worth a couple of bucks. Oh, where you get back in that one? You're the button bag. What else you got in here? Those ones we've already looked at. Sosa. Is that like Sosa the baseball player Sosa? What number was Sosa? Yeah, that's probably what it is. 1998. Bambini. Bino. Bambino. Yeah, same as Sosa. 21. This was issued 98. Home run number 66. Worth billions. <laughs> I have a baseball. The same as Sosa. Ba oh, look at that. That's uh, an old Gordon Zippo, I bet. It don't work. You don't even clip. What's going on here? Let's do. There we go. Let's see, I can still do that. Back in the old days. What do we got here? This was $5.99. It's a Boyd's Bear from a NASCAR Boyd's Bear. This is a Jeff Gordon Boyd's Bear. Definitely worth trillions. Wow, this is fun stuff. Grateful, be strong, and take heart. What do we got in the, this is an old Holly Hobby. 1981. But you had a lunchbox worth a couple bucks. Ooh, Pinheads. Dale Earnhardt. 2000 edition. That's like right about when he died. Oh, but yeah, that's worth a couple dollars. What do you got here? Tin Easter egg inside. Ooh! There's nothing in them now. Five tin Easter eggs inside this box. <laughs> oh, there's the, here's the other ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put them all back in. Now there's now there's five in the box. A couple of them fell out. I'm really intrigued. I want to look this up. Now I'm going to post it right here. I think that's got to be worth something, right? From 2000? Definitely. What is this? Moonshot. Oh, this is an Apollo. Man on the Moon, July 69. I wonder if that's from 69. Or whether that's just a reproduction. We'll have to look that one up too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's a Holly Hobby lunchbox. All right, we'll throw a couple of things up in here if we can find anything. That's crazy town. We better put this in something before it doesn't get... We'll put you back in there so you don't get broken. Wow. That was a great bag, guys. All right. Let's uh, wait till the yard opens and we'll go over there and I'll look up these while we're waiting. See you in a bit. All righty, guys. I had to come back in. We're still waiting for lunch. Oh, there's Jill. Don't let Jill see me. We're gonna get Jeffy. I, uh, well, I was goofing around. I got this old drill. It's uh, not great, but we got Jeffy's license plate, see? So we hang this upside down and it says, plays well with others. <laughs> so we're gonna go get Jeff and see how long it takes him to realize that he's got this license plate on his car. Don't tell him. If we can't get the pineapple, in his location, we'll get him here. All right. Uh, you're not going to be able to 
see the place well other than that grade, but. All right, let's see how long it takes him to figure this one out. Oh man. <laughs> Alrighty guys, don't tell him. Let's see how long that lasts. Jeffy, upside down pineapples. He plays well with others. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the yard. You know, I'm recording stuff I don't normally record, but see they're closed for lunch. We're just gonna break in. <laughs> How many of you guys can do that at your yard? <laughs> Oops, we can turn music off. Oh, I know, I'm a little silly today. I must be selling some s'mores back there in the yard today. Oh gosh, only 9,000. We're not, we're, we might not make a thousand pounds today, guys. And that TV work, by the way. Hi, Miss Jill. Just peachy and yourself. Wow. Look at this bright and sh sun sunshiny Jill. What'd you, where is Jill and what'd you do to her? <laughs> uh, oh, I better leave this here for the TV. Say, huh? Yeah. What are they burning back there? Some ores? Some ores? <laughs> it's wire. It's wire. Mm. Who cooking barbecue? Must have been greasy wire. It's probably that uh, stuff. That, it's probably the stuff that torch guy was cutting up yesterday. All that stuff from the power plant. Yeah. I know. I heard. That's what Jeff said. That's a lot. You need some help picking some of it up? <laughs> yeah, as long as, as long as I get the weight, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, we'll drive down to the yard. I don't know. I think it looks like David might have us blocked up here a little bit. We'll go see if we get through. For all of you that aren't accustomed to this, this is the scale. So you get on the scale and you weigh your complete vehicle and trailer and all your stuff. And then we'll drive down into the yard and then we'll huck all of our stuff off. And then after we're done hucking off our stuff, then we'll do, go back on the scale and they take the one number minus the other number and that's what you tossed off. So that's how they figure out what you did for shred. Like them chucking the refrigerators up here. Maybe we'll watch Dave for a minute. Getting the yard all cleaned up. Yeah, it is all that stuff from the power plant. Look at that. Look at that spool of cable. Man, the pile getting tall. I never know if my angle's right. Because I try to tilt it down a little bit for when I'm hunting in the street, but then it's like you guys are seeing my door instead of seeing him throw stuff. Washing machine. Shwink. Dishwasher. Same washing machine and dishwasher after it fell down. 
See, and that's his. That's all uh, chain link fence. And then he used that as his broom. He sweeps up the yard. And tries to get all the nasty stuff so we don't mess our cars up. Pond's almost gone. There's a trailer for a bike attached to the bottom of it. Oh, and it came off. Yesterday there was a ceiling fan stuck to the bottom of it and it just, every time he swept, it stayed on there. Here, I'll scoot up so you guys can see. You can't see him sweep with the truck in the way. There, now you can see better. Oh, wow, they got a mess of stuff over there. He's still gonna, gonna go over there and throw stuff again, I bet. It's a dog crate. We actually might be able to back up to the pile for the first time in a long time now that most of the water's gone. All right, guys, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go pull all the way out when we get away. I'll let them toss stuff. I'll uh, see you guys once we get into unloading position. All right, guys, we didn't we didn't get up into position. He's uh, hooking the magnet up, and he's going to move around some of that heavy steel for the torch guy. So we're just going to unload. <laughs> and then he can brush it. He can brush it back in. I, I don't know if you heard me on the scale. We did uh, test this TV and it does light up. Unbelievable, huh? I when I thought so. It was in pretty good shape. It didn't. Uh, we tore it up a little bit, but it wasn't going to be a worker worker. It got a little beat up in the process, but she works. So she's going to go to Lou. So we didn't get a ton ton today, but we love that little goodie pile that I didn't even think was going to be a goodie pile. How crazy is that? Look at a pair of clippers. Look at the size of that wire, man. Yeah. Greasy wire. That's why it smells like barbecue, Joe. Oh, there they are. This is an old fridge. So he called me down. I drove past them. They were pulling some stuff out of the house. I think they're getting ready to move for, I don't know what they're doing, but I drove by the first time and uh, I saw a different refridge, not this one. I was hoping I was gonna get this big, huge, fat stainless steel one, but no such luck. We got this one, but still a refrigerator. We didn't find tons, tons, but at least we found the nice, big, chunky stuff. It's got a nice, nice compressor on it, though. The post office has been bringing all kinds of stuff in here. I realized, before we put that thing on Jeffy's car, that I took my gun in last night to charge it, because I don't think it was fully charged from the first time I charged it. And I forgot it at the house. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to zip that off. Um, before we get out of here or not. Which means we might not be able to clean these up either. That would stink, huh? Hopefully I've got enough juice left in that other gun. 
to uh, make that happen. Had the same color as the aluminum ones. This was the one thing I stopped for at that one place. I thought that was going to be it. I'm going to try to the back in there. It's not going to take me too long, brother. We don't got too much to play, unfortunately. The only thing nice is this stuff's kind of heavy. I think we're going to be just shy of a thousand pounds now. To get a couple of compressors. Oh, come on up there. And we'll catch you over at Jeffries. That's a pretty nice bike. Alright, that's it. Alright, we'll catch you over at Jeffs. Alrighty guys, let's do some NFJ. Remember, mum's the word. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take? Let's let's do it. Let's do a guessing game. Put your guess. Oh, he's got a bin gone. No, it's back. Oh, I feel like I'm messing my wheels in the process. No one says wire. He's got these flip flops. We should do a guessing game. Whoever's closest to how long it takes Jeff to uh, figure out that license plate's there. And then we can blame it on Jacob or something. <laughs> Don't scratch my car! Don't scratch my car! <laughs> Do you drop it? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I guess everybody's a little silly today, huh? 
Well, that's almost the end of the week. That's, that's what you get, man. Ooh. Yeah, we did have our good uh, our good gun, so. Oh, where did I book it? Oh my gosh, like this. Um, so we didn't break down those doors. That one guy, that, that bike was aluminum and he didn't want it, so he said, go ahead and take her. Look at all this nice extrusion. Where'd that come from? Kev. No? A screen guy. A screen guy. Yeah. Whew. We had uh, number two because of hair wire. Look at my, What's your my, my, my red locks. <laughs> See, we had all this. Yeah. Look at all that. That's one, that's one enclosure. Yeah? One screen enclosure. Would it pay? 400 bucks on, on the money with so 400 bucks of material gets you a $15,000 porch. <laughs> and he said he just had one guy call him about a quote uh -huh. to go and to use the, the uh, bug screen. And what do you mean the bug screen? To, to put screen on it? Yeah, the bug screen. Yeah. And it's 6,500 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I called, I've got a bunch of holes in mine. We had that hailstorm, yeah. put a bunch of holes in mine yeah. and uh, I called and I said, what's it cost to replace the screen? The screens that have holes in it. And then I said, give me a quote for the entire. My entire was 4,600, I think. Yeah, her cat has gone up onto my enclosure now and ripped two of them. And then I have one big hole from, I think, Ian. Okay. That, right, look at that bike. Yeah, I know. Oh, so that gaming system, it uses a male plug. A male plug, yeah. It's a port on, on the right. Um, heavy? Yeah, it's going to be heavy. It's not heavy, but it's going to go as heavy. You're not scrapping it or you are? No, I'm scrapping it. Then. Yeah? yeah. Pans we got here. What? It's not brass, I don't think, is it? I think it's aluminum. What are you? You just texted me. Where? What are you doing here? <laughs> so my whole neighborhood is slammed. Yeah, I got kids to get that. I told I told Packer to go check it out. I seen like four washers, a refrigerator, lawnmowers. Really? Is it brass? Really? All right, I'll break that down. Yeah, I can't pick up none of it. They were literally waving me down. There's washers and dryers. I know. I turned the corner, refrigerator, stove. Like, it's clean. If I was empty, I would not be empty. I should maybe go. I should go maybe run for an hour. I don't know. We'll see. I got children's to get, though. Did you already put light in, Jeffy? Oh, no, that wasn't light. Ready for light? Yeah. Who keeps bringing those coil in to you? I don't know. You take them next door, get eight seventy cents a pound for them. Oh, you know, I get off the gate up. Man, someone's got a lot of freedom and time. What do you get when you cross an Olympic swimmer with an elephant? Hell of a swimmer. Swimming trunks. Oh. What's the leading cause of dry skin? Uh, being dry. Towels. Towels. 
Why did the yogurt go to the art exhibit? I think you've done this one. Yeah, it's, it's cultured. Wow. What do you call a girl in the middle of a tennis court? In the middle of a tennis court. Love? A net. A net. Ah, it's perfect. What do you call a bear with no ears? Bear with no ears. Yogi bear? B. B. <laughs> what? What did the ocean say to the beach? <laughs> uh, he didn't say anything, he just waved. Yep. Yes! What did one wall say to the other? What did one wall say to the other? Meet you at the corner? Correct. Yeah! I'm on fire today. So that's the port, the plug. So. Do you know what the amperage and stuff is or no? No. I don't know. Alright. All Alright, hang on. Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid. Whoo wee, it's hot out today. Man, it warmed up quick. So Jacob was telling me there's millions and millions of pounds all over this area, so I don't know. We might pick up the kids, dump them off, and then go run for an hour or two before uh, it gets too crazy. So uh, I don't think we have any baseball tonight. So I don't know, we'll see. If not, then uh, we can run it tomorrow and see if there's anything left over. But let's dive into today's receipt to see how we did 10. 900 pounds. I thought for some reason we were going to be closer to a thousand, but we were 100 pounds short. That's okay. We're still at six cents a pound for $54. Sealed units came off of three refrigerators. 61 pounds, 20 cents a pound for $12.20. Irony heavy was the bike. Like I said, that guy next to me, I, anytime I see people throwing stuff off they shouldn't, the bike looked like it was going to be aluminum. He also threw off a uh, weed whacker. I didn't really wasn't going to take that because it's not very much weight. But he's like, I was like, hey, those will go next door for heavy. You'll get paid a little bit more. He's like, yeah, I ain't got time for that. If you want it, it's yours. So we took the bike, uh, 32 pounds, 18 cents a pound for 5.76. Then irony of light, we just had a little bit of dirty. The pots and pans, four pounds, 20 cents a pound for a dollar twelve per grand total of 73.08. So uh, with that, we're not hitting our number, but we did stop by our washer and dryer guy. I dropped off the dryer we picked up this morning when we got that one, that first refrigerator, uh, and he did pay me for the the IOU that I gave him. I don't know a week ago or so. Yeah, so I doubled down to $40 from him today. So uh, we got picked up. I don't know if we counted that last time or not. We probably didn't because we normally only count them when we get paid for them. But either way, we're going to be close or uh, slightly over our goal uh, with the washer or with the dryer, I should say. So I'm going to consider today a win plus all that stuff. The only disappointing part is a lot of the stuff that I thought was going to be valuable really, really wasn't that valuable. Uh, the Earnhardt little pendant pin was decent. The Holly Hobby lunch box was decent, but the other bears and stuff were like maybe 10 bucks. So I was shocked for having things that are quote unquote vintage uh, and still aren't worth very much. But hey, what are you going to do? It was fun to find it. It was fun to uh, have that. Plus, we got all the pins and all that kind of stuff. But, anywho, hope you guys enjoyed today's run. It uh, wasn't uh, full of metal, but uh, maybe one of these days we'll. Uh, We'll stuff her again. Anywho, make sure to smash that thumbs up before you get out of here. We did go fanless again today. What? Where are our fans at, man? It's warming up. We should definitely be finding more fans. It's nacho stuff. That means you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys then.